Welcome to Bargain Bin Saturdays, where I review movies I've picked out of the 5 or $8 bargain bins at my local Walmart. For today's episode, we're going to take a look at L.A. Street Fighters, a movie that came out of a collection of 23 hours worth of martial arts movies. So as you can imagine, it's like cheaply made B-grade garbage. That's only redeemed by a few scenes. But before I get into the few good bits, I'd like to take a look at the setting for this movie. Well, if you missed it, this movie is set in a high school, which isn't a problem in and of itself, since this movie is based around street gangs. But our primary and secondary protagonists don't look anything like high school students. Seriously, do you believe either of these two kids are in high school? No, you do not. Unless you want to owe me all your cookies and internets. Though enough of my nitpicks, let's take a look at one of the few good scenes from this movie, since I'm not able to show the scene where Young tries to take up a hooker to have sex with Tony. You do as I say. And for starters, you pay me five bucks, or I'll kick your ass. Outside of that scene, a few others, the only other saving grace to this movie is the main theme song, Never Run, Never Hide, which plays rather frequently throughout the movie since it's brought up whenever a fight scene occurs, which happens rather often. Though the reason I call this movie B-grade garbage is because almost all the fight scenes and dialogue scenes take place at night and suffer from poor lighting so you can barely see anything throughout this movie. In fact, it's so dark that you'll sometimes see characters take falls without ever seeing them be hit. Well, if you may ask, what is the reason for all the fights in this movie? Maybe everything is poorly shot, but the story may be moving enough to justify its existence. And in response, I'd say no. This movie, the main story, takes around 40 minutes to set up, with most of the setup work revolving around the various street gangs duking it out over control of the streets and prote protection rackets. Of course, all the fight scenes are also interspaced with poorly acted romance and character building scenes, but ultimately it boils down to Young and his gang stealing money from drug dealers with the intent of putting it to good use. Of course, the story does have some balls and ends with Young being killed, up, killed off by one of his high school rivals after taking down a bunch of assassins and the leader of the drug dealing organization, but it has almost little, it has so little impact as all the bad acting. I mean, what difference does it make if they die at the end if you don't care? <laughs> Which means this movie fails both in terms of characters and plot, as well as in terms of martial arts battles. So I'll only give this movie a pass unless you're willing to play it while doing other things, like playing Pokemon X and Y on your new 3DS, or you could be typing a review in the background or something. I mean, there's just no reason to really watch this movie unless you're bored out of your mind. <laughs> 